Hey guys, this is Spider here at TexasFighting.com. I'm here with Parker Reed. Parker, how you doing, bro? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Now, I wanted to kind of ask you a few questions as far as uh, what happened with you last year health-wise, man. Uh, can you give us a little in input on that? Uh, well, I was actually diagnosed with stomach ulcers, which um, was just terrible. If you ever had anything like that. And uh, I had to get surgery on it, so I had to take a whole year off of not just training, but just fights. Because I had a fight coming up, which uh, was a title fight, but I had to drop out of it. But in the other, uh, in the other lands, like just it made me open up my eyes to so many new things. It made me love the sport a lot more, and I just started uh, committing myself more to it and making myself more to die. Well, so I didn't die either. So that's probably a smart thing to do if I want to be a little more healthier. No, like definitely, I man. I agree with you. But yeah, it just. It's just one of those crazy things, like they're like, you're a young and healthy kid and you just got there diagnosed you go. with it, but um, they cut it in time before you got cancerous or anything, so I'm ready to go home and, you know, I'm healthy. It's just, it's just a lot of so, hopefully it doesn't happen again. No, no, for sure, man. I mean, that's a terrible thing that happened. I mean, like you said, you are young, you know, you were training a lot, you were ready, uh, you had a bout coming up, which, you know, definitely coming up. Uh, 100% every, every fucking Now, with that said, man, I mean, you said it makes you look back and actually, I think it makes you more, you know, just being on the sidelines and you want to practice the sport, obviously. You know, what is it uh, that you look forward to? I mean, there's a fight coming up. I mean, are there any fighters in specific that, you know, you, you look forward to uh, watching? Well, uh, looking forward to, I look forward to anybody who brings a good fight. I don't even care if it's the most technical fight and everybody's booing. I'll probably be like, that was a great fight. I really don't care. Uh, I just love the sport of MMA, and I love any kind of sport that has physical contact in it, pretty much. I love watching boxing, I love watching kickboxing, and I could just sit down and watch jiu-jitsu tournaments for days. Right, right. Um, on that, though, uh, it did make me open up my eyes more, because I used to just, you know, I always wanted to compete, 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 but um, after the stomach sickness, I actually felt like I became a student again under Jamie Miller, which... Uh, has pretty much raised me and helped me because I started when I was 15 here and they pretty much helped me grow as a person and as an individual. And I don't consider myself as an MMA fighter anymore. I do consider myself as a martial artist now, which has really opened my eyes up to the whole world and how I see things. Oh, definitely, man. That's a good way of saying it, dude. I mean, you know, that's awesome. I mean, that you can actually sit back and actually, you enjoy the sport. I mean, that's a, there's a love for it. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your nickname, dude. The Amazing Spider-Man. Tell us a little bit about that, man. <laughs> All right, well, um, many of you may know Aaron Suarez, who was a holder in uh, Tampa. Uh, he was the 155, and I believe uh, 175. The 175, I right. Yeah, I don't remember. All I remember is he used to carry around two belts and was always happy. <laughs> but, uh, he used to beat me up all the time. Man, well, that's Up and that's a couple of things. So, the ADP gets his title. Uh, what do you know? 